Welcome to some basic principles in chemistry. Here we're going to talk about many such small topics and the topic for today is catenation. So what is catenation? Catenation is a unique property which is only and only available with carbon. Carbon exhibits this unique, spectacular and remarkable property of bonding with another carbon atom and that bonds with another carbon atom and another carbon atom and another carbon atom and they form like unlimited chains. These chains can have branches, these branches can have sub-branches, these branches can be open, they can be closed. This unique property of direct bonding of carbon with another carbon is called as carination. It's called as carination. Direct bonding of carbon with another carbon atom. This property is only and only a trademark property of carbon. Why does carbon form this direct bond with carbon? Carbon atom to another carbon atom to another carbon atom. So why does this happen? This happens because the bond strength of carbon-carbon is very strong. The carbon-carbon bond strength is very strong. It is as much as 335 kilojoules per mole. So what do you mean by 335 kilojoules per mole? It means that utna energy lagta hai ek carbon bond ko todne ke liye. That is the amount of energy required to break a carbon-carbon bond. That is a huge amount of energy, right? Because a silicon-silicon, like a silicon-silicon um, a bond is hardly 220 kilojoules per mole. Whereas a carbon-carbon is 335 and everything else is much lesser than that so because the strength of the carbon atom uh, the strength of the bond which binds a carbon and a carbon is very strong it stays that way and and carbon can probably form unlimited compounds you put all the compounds of the world together and you take just carbon compounds this is much more than every other compound put together in the world so the carbon-carbon bond is a really strong bond as compared to any other two elements of the same type bonding together, right? So, so carbon can bond with another carbon and this can just go on, you know, it can just go on like this till infinity it can go on, seriously. So this is called as a linear bonding, right? This is one type of catenation, it can just go on. The other is a carbon can bond with carbon this way and it can go on, it can go on and it can have branches. See, this is a branch. And likewise, you know, it can just go on like branching. So these are two examples of branching with carination. The third example can be like this, you know. This is also carination. This is also carination. So where carbon atom can just form closed structures. Now this is catenation. Now look at the fourth type in which catenation can take place. That is, uh, you can take one example of each of the above and it can all form together. It can form a branch like this. And, and this branch can have something like this. It can have a closed structure and this can just be as complex as possible. There is no end to it. It can just go on. Why do you think this goes on? Because the carbon-carbon bond is really, really strong. This bond energy, the energy required to break this is close to 335 kilojoules per mole. If you liked what you just heard and if it helped you in learning, uh, subscribe to the channel. This channel is going to come out with more than thousand learning tools on basic concepts which will help you learn, understand, memorize the concepts of every minute topics of physics, chemistry, biology, maths. My team and I will put together this for you in every way. Read the description. There is something kept there for you. Read it properly.